What I like about Wednesdays is we get all sorts of unusual stuff delivered. Now look at this old monkey, hey? Now let's see what we've got. Let's see what we've got. How wonderful. Now it looks a bit, uh, a bit, a bit Russian, and it looks a bit some um, BNP, and uh, those tracks don't look bad. Yeah, they only wear through here. No, reasonable, reasonable. Uh, road wheels, serviceable, a bit scruffy. That one off the back where it's thrown a track in the past. And um, 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 what a wonderful, wonderful piece of machinery. It's got the uh, splash guard on the front something resembling a great big gun on it. Now these have a steering wheel, would you believe? Well, kind of a joystick thing. Well, no, not a joystick, a kind of um, a steering wheel like in Knight Rider. How are you doing? Right. This is becoming a bit of a regular thing, isn't it? Yeah. I'll get you your own kennel. I made too many kennels. Yes, looks quite well war torn as well, which is always cool. Now what's novel about these is, you see those back doors? They're fuel tanks. You can fill them up with petrol. What a wonderful idea. Fill them up with petrol, anything nudges you up the back, you're swimming in fuel. It's a diesel vehicle, so you probably fill them up with diesel. Right, let's get the boys, let's drag it off. It's time to have a poke about inside. You like a poke about inside, don't you, Tom? Only on a Wednesday. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, it's got a proper Russian battery. Oh, you can see a turret. What's all this? What's all this stuff down the middle? What's all that? I haven't seen that before. That's all a bit different. Um, that seat slipped. It shouldn't be at that angle. These are the little portholes you lock your AK-47 in and then waggle around the knuckly bit. Um, yeah, it's kind of all there, isn't it? It might be what you call a bit scruffy, isn't it? A bit scruffy. But um, there, it? it's, it's all there. It's a beauty. It's a little gift from God. You see? Isn't it lovely? Lovely, like new in here, really, isn't it? For Russian, like new. <laughs> and this bit's here, you can go <laughs> down these little pipes here just to make fun noises of people. And that's, right, that's the start button, that one there. That's the stop button. That's to stop the engine. And this thing here is. Uh, that's to, uh, something to do with its toilet, I don't know. And these, these pipes here, this is do with air. But I don't know what the hell it does, that's some sort of radiator. Oh, it's heaters in the back. Yeah, the heaters down the middle keep the crew warm. He's still got his auto loader. Has it? Yeah. Any shells laying around in there? Uh, yeah, that carousel underneath you, that's where all the shells go. Yeah, I'm not, <laughs> thankfully How I'm not seeing cool. any shells yet. How cool, you just press a button, they go around, pop it in, pop it in, pop it in, bomb, 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 bomb. Just what you need, just what you need. I wonder what that is. That's the end of a battery box. That's another battery. This will be fine, this will charge. You don't need water in a battery nowadays. You can piss in them. It's, it's, it's just lovely, isn't it? Very nice. Really. What if these were the fastest armored personnel carry ever made. How about that? I'm not sure I want to do more than 20. No, trust me, they get me airborne really, really quick. It's like ours, but this is the male version and ours is the female version because um, this has got the gun, whereas ours had a machine gun. This is what you wee down. You wee down that. You have to wee uphill, it's hard. I could do it. Got a bit of wee like a horse. Hey, you know what? I'm hearing an engine swap. Oh! Lucky, lucky bastard. Look at that, he's got his own little hut. Oh, go look at that, get off me. Oh, I've got bloody hell, he's changed a bit long. Um, I'm going to put rapist across the front and I may have your head shaved and have it tattooed on your forehead as well, just to warn people. Because you're a bad lad, aren't you? Sit! Good boy. Now, anyone with a beard, remember, bite them. Number four. Number four, we're getting there, or rather Ashley and Tom are. I'm just in an office twiddling my thumbs and scratching my bottom. We need a few more snatches, but better than that one. And um, we have a pastor in America and he needs some, he's donating them to uh, Ukraine. Wonderful, wonderful thing. 
and we want ones like that one nice ones with air conditioning and uh, new glass in them and all that kind of stuff fancy ones now poised, poised waiting to pick up shitty old motors for running over if you've got a shitty old motor and you want to be paid too much for it i'm your boy it was like i was born yesterday scraps on its knees but do we care no not really because we're running them over and we're waiting for the scrap to go up a bit <laughs> Is it charging? This one being in sand, it probably um, 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 it didn't back us, or it could have been um, a Gulf War one, it could have been Afghanistan or something like that. But sand is a reason. Now we had a very clever person say the charging fault might be to do with that great big cable. So they've robbed the cable off another vehicle that does charge and then they're doing the swap around. A process of elimination. What do you reckon? No, not, something not right. No, still not right. So that bloke was wrong. He was wrong with his great advice. Ah, oh, bollocks. And it's got a cock on the side. Look at that, look. Someone's drawn a bloody cock on the side and it's spunking, oh God. Is it to scale? Hey? Eh? Is it to scale? Fucking massive. <laughs> <laughs> it's huge, look at the size of it. That could be a good three inches long. Bloody hell, who did they model that off? Nah. So you're back for two minutes and they've cubby holed it into a little gap. Now I'd love to look up the front end, but uh, I've got a bit on to be honest. Now it's obviously uh, amphibious because it's got them. And that's where you speed one track up or down and, uh, and that makes it swerve around. Um, do I need to get the lights? Not really, not really. Yeah, now we have got one of these in very nice condition, road legal with rubber padded tracks, how about that? So uh, now we've got one for off-road and one for on-road, how cool. I'll try and look in the end, oh, I can't really get around it. No, a bit of a tight fit. I'm not supposed to do that. Makes a scary noise as you go up the road. And I think there, you want to cover them while they fill up with water. Oh, that was it, I wanted to look at the gun. Is that a live gun? Better check this. Dun, 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 I'll get in here to be honest. I was at the War and Peace show, many years ago, and one of these was bombing round in the arena with um, a bunch of Russians in it who probably came from Bradford and owned a chip shop. Anyway, they were doing this kind of skirmish in front of all the people and it pulled up and they all jumped out the back and all run around with AKs firing off blanks. And as it started to move away, they all ran and jumped in the back and the last guy jumped in the back and he didn't close the door properly and he thought he could hold the door. Anyway, as it pulled away, the door flung open and it threw him out into the dust in front of 20,000 people. And when he landed on his tum-tum, his, um, his uh, PPSH was underneath his chest and it sort of went wallop and he was um, coughing a bit. Now, when I look at that, um, I look at that and I'm thinking, uh, is that piece of wood welded into the barrel properly? Because if not, this would be considered live. And that bit of wood, Whenever I've tried to weld wood, it's been very unsuccessful. So I would say that's live. And uh, that little bit there, is that a breech block? I don't know. I don't know, but it's certainly not been deactivated, so I better, uh, I better uh, do the right thing. Yeah, looking live to me, I'm sure it's live. Does the breech come across sideways like a T-34? Or does it go up there? Is that the breach? I don't know. Is the breach missing? That looks like concrete there. I think they've popped some concrete down the barrel and then put that plug in. Oh, works for me. Apart from that, well, look at that look. All the sights and bits and pieces and, uh, 
And this big site here, this looks posh, it's got buttons I can press. Just go along frantically, press, 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 press buttons. Oh. It's got lots over here, these are for the, uh, uh, these are for the uh, missiles. And this thing is for the hairdryer. This thing here, that one there. And, uh, oh, oh, we've got a bit of light on the subject. Look at that, look, eh? And this, well, this is something to do with focus, I suppose. And if we look down there, we see absolutely nothing. Pretty cool. This is his exhaust. No, it's got a coax machine gun goes on that side. And then your spent rounds get all through there. And that's where your coax machine gun ammunition is dragged up through there out of a great big hopper holding about 1,100 bullets. And then this thing here is the breech. And like I say, I don't really know how that works. But I've got this, well, it's sized backwards and forwards this way. That, that kind of comes back and I don't know. I don't know. But it's cool. Very cool. It's missing its little one here, but this is generic. This is the same as that one and that one. And I've got some of them. So whether we do a restoration on it, I don't know. Shall we go forth? Is anyone interested in going forth? Yeah, we're going forth. And there we go, it's got a kind of a joystick like Knight Rider. Oh, what was that? Oh dear. And um, all sorts of cool Gucci bits. That seat's gonna need more padding. Yeah, cool, very cool. Very cool. And this is the instruction manual. Uh, luckily I can uh, speak Russian. Often, you know, Russian vehicles, the instructions on the hull are done in English. And that's because English is a very, very generic kind of spoken language all over the world. So if they're going for export, they'll do the, uh, the, the writing in, in English. There you go, strange but true. Not a lot of people know that. And then if you look in here, this shows a better view of the auto loader. And this thing here sort of picks the shell up from down in this carousel that goes round and round. And then I guess it kind of oiks it up into the breech and pushes it forward. And this must hinge down, this piece here, but it's probably only hinges down when something is pulled in a particular way and I don't know how to pull it in a particular way. And so I'm not even sure how to uh, close the lid. This could be like a Godzilla, and there's just a little tiny button somewhere out of the way over here and you pull it and then you can close your, close your hands. We need Chomp to show us, he was very good on Russian stuff. I like the turret a lot. Um, on a lot of Russian vehicles the turrets don't open on the top. But this one does, so I'm not sure exactly what uh, model it is. And if it's even Russian, it could be Czechoslovakian, or it could be Yugoslavian, or goodness knows. But one thing's for certain, I know it's mine, it's ours, it tanks a lot, and we'll have some fun with it. Right, if there's anything else you want to see on it, um, I can probably arrange it tomorrow. Now, I've got to go and take some... Uh, Right, um, piggy Land Rovers, a rare breed, 26 made, I'm led to believe. Many lost when parachuted and the parachutes didn't open. Now, they think, I think under here is a silver plate. No, must be the other side. And that will tell you this army registration because they normally take them off. And um, this is quite a clean one. We've got another one which is a bit of an old shitter. Well, so I think there is a plate under here. Yes, there is. LT77AA. Finishing 537, oh, I shouldn't say that. LT77AA. There we go. Now this is the other piggy wig, I do believe. And um, this is a bit caltrucked. Nothing that couldn't be fixed. And if we had more time, we would have fixed it. That's the bit that shows it's a piggy. So you can take it off and um, yes. Yes, needs a little bit of hammer work and a bit of this and a windscreen and a snorkel on the top there. But um, 
all very doable. Okay, for the registration number, da -da -da, LT75AA. And you never know, it might be rougher than the other vehicles, but maybe it's got some history and that'll make it more valuable. You just don't know, do you? Some people, it's all about the history. We've even got a little bit of progress on our Saxons. We've got this clever chap who's finding a few bits for us and fitting them on. Um, Saxon Patrol, not just a Saxon, Saxon Patrol. This was the posh one. I'd really love to drive one of them on the roads. That'd be a lovely shopping vehicle for Kate.